Hello, boys and girls. My name is Otis here, and welcome back to another episode of the No Sleep Challenge. We are in the Nether, as it's not hard to see. And last time we were on the search for a Nether fortress, and I found one right there. And there is even a, a place spawner right. There there uh, that we need for the uh, uh, for the blaze rods so yep they are already spawning so let's see is there a way down here on this side No. Nope. So what we will do is I think I came around the uh, other side here. What we will do is basically Go down and then approach from the side. Yeah. Right. We will use the bow. Hopefully avoid this from happening. Nice. Uh, we will need a few blaze rocks. Thing is, this uh, yeah, zombie piglin there in the way. And that. All right, but we know where we have to go. So let's head back there. Collect our stuff and um, hopefully are a bit luckier um, the next time. So I think we dug the tunnel somewhere over here. Yep. 
see you back at the fortress. All right, we are back. We came across some uh, piglins. We barely evaded them, but luckily there was some gold lying around. Mm -hmm. So, uh, that is definitely in our favor. Right, another few blaze rods, so um, let's collect a few more to have a few spare. shall be good probably it would be good to have also a few um, a few uh, uh, nether ward so we could do a bit of um, Ooh, that was close. So we could do a bit of uh, so we could do a bit of uh, brewing uh, a few potions to face the uh, Ender Dragon. That might make a bit of a difference, um, but. One thing at a time. First, we need the uh, the ooh. There are also skellies around. Where the skellies? Let's block this off so they cannot come through because at least here we do not need um, the uh, Widow Skulls. Come on! Yep. Got ya! Yep, but no wheel skulls. And uh, let's get back. If we have handful of uh, rods that should be good Probably eat up our fish that we have here. Um, but I think it's worthwhile to stay alive. 
could have picked up. few uh, more fish or food or uh, whatever while uh, before coming back but I did not think of it Rods. No and rod this time. See anything? Nice. It's quite a few. Get them and then retreat. I think we have enough for the blaze powder, but if we want to do a bit of uh, brewing, we also need a bit, f uh, a few and rods for the uh, uh, brewing stand, and then for powering the uh, the brewing stand. I finally think I have figured this out. Come on, come on, where will you spawn? this time but as it is you cannot win all the time so let's collect a few more these actually I never thought using the bow uh, to fight the uh, fight the blazes but apparently it's quite a decent strategy because they are basically one or two hit kill If we have half a stack of uh, of blaze rods, we should be good. Of course, you have to hit them. And we are well on our way. Mm. 
out of this but we survived another encounter and got a few this time also got a bit burned we still have a few fishes And we almost have the blaze rods that I am aiming for. Six more. And then we will scurry the, uh, the fortress to find any find any uh, nether wards. There should be some in here. Just snuck in here behind. Sneaky of you. 29, so three more. No end rod from you. in total or and rods and then we are done here know you want to you're cheap but it's only a matter of time first ah uh, yes here is the nether ward room um we don't need that single piece of uh, of um, gold and let's also dig out a bit of uh, salt sand. Um, we can get rid of stack of netherrack. All 
right. And then I think we've seen it here. Uh, we got all that we need. So let's head back home and prepare for the end. So hope you enjoyed this nettle based episode and I will see you back at spawn where we make final preparations. Until then, goodbye!